Hi, how are you? Well, it's certainly fall in West Windsor and Essex County, isn't it? We're coming up on uh, the holiday Thanksgiving weekend here and focusing on those things that we're grateful for. It's kind of an unusual year though, isn't it? And it's not the typical Thanksgiving weekend that many of us have become used to. Um, we aren't able to gather in big family settings. Uh, some families go out and eat for Thanksgiving and maybe they're not able to do that this year. And so we're experiencing Thanksgiving very differently in much the same way that we've experienced a lot of our special occasions um, since March of last year, March of this year, I should say. So I want to just take a moment and encourage you to focus on the things that you have. It's pretty tempting to focus on the things that you've lost or the things that you've changed or the experiences that you thought you were going to have and you weren't able to. And it can be kind of distracting to stay stuck in that place of lack and don't have and wish I could have. And that's not really what Thanksgiving is about. I come from a farming family and fall was when you made the money. I mean, this was the time of year when dad would fire up the combine and out he would go to harvest the beans and the corn. And uh, some nights were pretty cold and sometimes, you know, there was some snow or some rain out there. Um, but we were always so grateful. And at the end of the, the harvest season, we would always, you know, take that big sigh of relief and thank God for the harvest that, that we were able to have. And so I want to invite you this year to focus on the things that remain those things that you are able to be grateful for. I have a personal practice of a gratitude journal where I record every day at least three things that I'm grateful for. Uh, things that I can kind of go, yeah, I'm so glad that, you know, they're part of my life or that experience was an opportunity that I was able to have. I've also been known to include things in my gratitude journal that some people might raise an eyebrow to. Why would you be grateful for that? And of course, the reason is that it reminds me that I can't do this life alone. I can't face certain circumstances without the uh, friendship of my friends or the, the love and support and encouragement of my family. And most importantly, I know that I can't do this walk without God. And so in my gratitude, I show appreciation for those things which are positive, but I also show gratitude for those things that challenge me and have me take a second look at doing life a certain way. So this Thanksgiving, I want to encourage you to record those things that are obvious, things like good grades, good friends, good family, place to live, good food, maybe you got some new clothes, uh, maybe you struck up a friendship with someone that you kind of wanted to be friends with, but you didn't know how to approach them. Maybe you're enjoying being back at school and you're just super grateful for being back in the classroom. Maybe some of you are in virtual school and you're grateful to not have to go to the buildings for school. Whatever those happy Thanksgiving things are, I want to encourage you to, to be grateful for those. But also, what are one or two things that in the moment you really struggle to be grateful? really struggle to say, thank you, God, for that test, or thank you, God, for that difficult situation. Sure did appreciate the struggle. And look at in that gratitude, even for those unpleasant things, God was there and he was holding you up. He was sending people around you to support you and love you and encourage you. And even those mo in those most difficult moments, you can be grateful because God never leaves you. And so I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to be coming into your homes every week since way back when and offering these midweek messages of encouragement. I hope that they have been meaningful to you, that you've enjoyed watching them, that on occasion you've kind of taken something away that you've been able to use right away. So on that note, happy Thanksgiving, everyone, whatever it is that you are celebrating this weekend and with whomever you are celebrating, uh, just give an extra dose of virtual hugging or Thanksgiving gratitude for that which you have in your life. Have a great week.